What's up, Saiyan Army? So this is the first leg day, day since injuring my lower back. Right now we're stretching out my hips and lower back. So this is an awesome stretch using a kettlebell. What I'm doing is I'm using the kettlebell like an anchor and opening my hips, driving my hips open with my elbows. So as you can see, I was going left to right, opening each hip individually. Now I'm hipping up and hipping down. And every time I hip up, I'm inhaling. And as I hip down, I exhale and drive my elbows out, opening up my hips. That last stretch was I pretty much put the kettlebell on the ground and I drove my head down towards the kettlebell, using the kettlebell as an anchor again to stretch out my lower back. Now in this workout, we did a bunch of front kettlebell squats or goblet squats. We did, uh, I probably did like 150 reps. Um, basically just trying to keep my core nice and tight and just rebuild that core strength all over again, taking it nice and slow. After that, we did a bunch of machines. It was a good leg day. My legs are still sore, um, to be honest, just because the volume was so damn high. So anyways, let's get into the topic of today's video. And that is, Matt, what's the best meal plan? And this is probably the most popular email I get, or popular email message question I get across all boards, everything, is Matt, what's a good meal plan? Matt, what's, what's good macros? Make my macros for me, adjust my macros for me. Are these good macros? And the answer is, I don't know. The reason I don't know is because everyone's body is different. You guys need to understand that everyone's body is different and their metabolism is different and their body works differently. So let's say I had a twin brother and let's say his name was like Vegeta Flex. Mm, yeah, Vegeta Flex, whatever, just go with it. So let's say I have a twin brother named Vegeta Flex. He is 5'8", 170 pounds, same build, same size as me, everything. Just because I'm cutting at 300 grams of carbs doesn't mean that he can cut at 300 grams of carbs either. Maybe his metabolism is faster. Maybe his metabolism is slower. Everyone's gonna be different. You know, some people are gonna, can cut on higher carbs and lower proteins. Some people can cut on, have to cut on lower carbs and higher fats. Some people gotta cut on lower fats and you know, moderate carbs and high protein. And it all differs. You just need to figure out how your body works and that's what separates the average coaches from the good coaches as far as online coaches is from what I noticed is the good coaches will take a client and figure out how his body works fast whereas an average coach will take them a little bit longer to figure out how their client's body works and the reason is I think good coaches just have more experience they work with more people they've seen more different body types so they can make the adjustments a little more quicker. So what do you do from there? You guys need to figure out how your body works. Okay, first off, figure out your macros, man. If you're not tracking your macros, figure that out. You know, my fitness pal is out there. Get a food scale. There's no excuse not to be tracking your macros if you're trying to cut down. Or even if you, you can't make weight or you're just trying to make some gains. You know what I mean? If nothing's changing, then maybe you should start tracking. All right, so what do you do from there? For me personally, I like to keep protein at at least a gram per pound of body weight. Some people, coaches might say that's too, that's high. Some people, some coaches might say that's too low, but I like to keep it at least at a gram, okay? Some clients, like I said, respond better to high protein. Some, some a little bit lower, some moderate. It really depends. From there, just play around with your macros. You can make small adjustments. You know, maybe bump down the carbs a little bit and um, bump up the protein a little bit. See what your body does, right? See how your body responds and just take things nice and slow. Make small adjustments, right? Maybe you have to drop down the protein and increase the fats. Maybe your um, your body doesn't isn't processing. You're carb sensitive. Like, not a lot of people, but yeah, I guess a lot of people are carb sensitive. I've had a handful of clients that are very carb sensitive where you need to lower the carbs and you gotta go to higher fats, all right? For me, I, I keep my carbs a little bit higher. I have to keep my fats lower and I keep, like to keep my protein moderate. And I notice I can cut really slowly. If I wanna cut faster, then I just increase my carbs. I mean, I decrease my carbs, increase the protein, and then I'll start dropping weight like that. But right now, I'm happy at 170 and eating my refeeds 
every weekend and eating whatever the hell I want, having the two refeed days to make up for that deficit. So, anyways, here we are, getting some calves. Damn, they're looking pretty good right now. I have no idea how big they are. I know someone's gonna ask how big they are. That's the question I always got. I've been getting a lot. I'll probably measure sometime soon. Um, yeah, but I have no idea how big my calves or arms are. Hopefully they're around the same size. Um, got that. Hopefully they're around them Steve Reeves genetic or aesthetics, whatever. Anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. Also, the NASM, thank you for sponsoring this video. They have their 14 day free trial. Link is right down below for any of you guys that want to become personal trainers or just want to learn a little bit more about fitness. Then definitely go check it out and click the link below. Anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hit that like button, strength and honor, much love, aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!